really excited to make this video because we have something that I've been wanting to review for a very long time, for a few years actually, uh, since I've started this channel, and that would be our very first Tomica. Now we have other Tomicas, but they're old, and it's my first time getting one straight from the store because they were announced a few years ago they'd be coming to Walmart, and apparently our Walmart just got them. So here it is, the Mitsubishi Outlander Fev, I think that's how you say it, I don't know. Uh, I think that's the electric version. Um, and I wanted to get something a little bit more normal instead of like some uh, sports car or something, because I feel like Hot Wheels and Matchbox already focus on that enough, and we. Sh I just wanted to try to get something that seems a little bit more average. And, uh, card art. Very cool. I like the design on it. Uh, very original. I don't really... It's, it's different. Uh, it goes on the back too. It's got heritage. I guess it's just the story of Tomica. Would be more cool if they added, uh, details on the car instead of the brand, because they could have had that somewhere else, like Hot Wheels does. It is made by Tomy. Uh, but yeah, it comes with a box within a box, which is kind of confusing, um, but I guess it works. So let's get this thing opened. I've, oh, I've had this for quite a while, so I know my way around it a little bit. Yeah, let's just take both out. We can review both. This is the packaging. Uh, it does open. I guess it could also be to show the car, but I guess it serves double purpose. Like, Matchbox uses these separately, but this one just comes with both, just in case you want to display it some other way. I can't read that label, so let's just translate it really quickly. No, I used a translating thing on my phone for that, but that must be fun to read. I love translations. Got a license plate. I don't know what the 70 means, but I don't know if that's like the... I don't know. Now we finally get to the car. This right here is our Tomica. Uh, we got wheels, I, these wheels are on just about every Tomica nowadays, a uh, very nice, uh, base, it's 1x63, 2016, it's been around for a while, I'm guessing, uh, made in Vietnam, and not much detail, but I do like the design, it is kind of curved, uh, this thing does have an opening trunk. We could read through that right now. Oh, I never noticed that little decal right there. That's special. Yeah, it's just that. Don't know if there's an, supposed to be like an Outlander decal right there. We do have the Mitsubishi logo right there. Lights are plastic, and they do have details to the doors. The interior is actually pretty nice. For a size this small it is right driver's seat i feel like the paint is a little bit too sparkly i don't know um yep yeah, this thing i was really disappointed in because i thought it would be like opening from this part where it just rotates but it actually comes up as an entire piece like that and that doesn't look good so, I'm a little bit disappointed, kind of wish I got a different car, but we just have to stick with this. So, yep, there it is. Suspension is fine, and honestly, it was a little bit disappointing, but it's Atomica, and I've been wanting to get one of those for years, so I'm just excited overall. I 
would not recommend picking this car over anything else. Just go with what you like. Um, but yeah, we, I'm going to have to try something a little bit more different than uh, these. Uh, I forget what they're called. I'm just going to call it an SUV. Uh, so yeah. I guess that's it for this video. Um, finally reviewed Atomica. And I do have Atomica playlist, but there's only like two or three videos. I'm going to link that on this video. And the next video is going to be really exciting, so stay tuned for that.